Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to back up your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch using iTunes and iCloud. And I'm also going to be showing you how you update your iPhone. Now this question has come to me a lot and it's definitely going to help you out and it's a very important process while using your iOS device. So make sure you follow all the steps completely. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Let's get started. Before we get started, let's make sure you have everything we'll need on hand. First, you're going to need your iPhone. You're going to need your lightning cable, as well as the wall outlet adapter. You're going to need either a PC or a Mac. And then you're going to need to have iTunes installed on your computer. Now, if you don't have iTunes installed on your computer, what you want to do is go to apple.com slash iTunes, and it'll take you to this page right here. From this page, you want to click on download at the top right and it'll open up a page like this. Now if you're running a Mac, you'll see that you have the download iTunes and it'll show the Mac version right here. And what you wanna do is go down, put in your email, put in your location, and then click on download now and it'll begin installing. If you have a Windows PC, what you wanna do is scroll further down and you'll see right here it says get iTunes for Windows. And if you click on that, it'll bring up the Windows software, the compatibility. If you want to read through that, you can, but basically if you scroll back up, you'll see you can get iTunes for Windows 7 or later. Again, enter in your email, enter in your location, and then click download now. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and install iTunes like you would any other program. Once you have iTunes installed on your computer, go ahead and plug the lightning port to your iPhone and the other end to your computer. Now iTunes should traditionally open up automatically when you do this, but if it doesn't, just find iTunes on your computer and open it up. It should open to a page very similar to this one here. Now what we want to do from this page is simply click on this little iPhone tab at the top. Now there's a lot going on with this page, but we're going to focus on the manually backup and restore section, and this is going to save a backup to our computer. Now before we click on the backup now, there's a few things I want to make sure of. First off, do not remove any of the cables from the computer or from your iPhone during the backup. Also, the length of time of your backup will depend on how much stuff you actually have on your iPhone. As you can see down here, I have quite a bit of stuff on my device. It'll also depend on how long it's been since your last backup. So if you back up more frequently, there will be less things to add to the backup, which will make the backup go faster. So for me, this is going to be quite quick, but if it's your first time backing up, it may take five to 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and click backup now. Now you can see at the top, it says backing up Daniel's iPhone. And once it's completed, we wanna remove our iPhone safely. And the way you do this is simply by going to this section here, it's showing you the little triangle with the line under it. If you click on this, It'll safely remove your iPhone, and now you can disconnect the USB cable from your computer and the lightning port from your iPhone. A second backup method is available with your iPhone, and that's backing up through the cloud. Once again, a good practice is always to plug your iPhone to the charger, especially if you're low on battery, to ensure you don't run out of batteries during the backup process. The first thing we need to do is ensure we have an Apple ID set up. So we'll go ahead and open up our settings application. We'll scroll down to where it says iCloud and we'll tap on that. Now, if you already have an Apple ID, you can enter it in right here and it should open up the iCloud settings for you. If you don't have an Apple ID set up yet, you can create one right here. Once you're signed in, you'll be brought to a page like this. And what we wanna do is simply scroll down to where it says backup. We'll tap on backup and it should be on. If it's not, just swipe it on, and you'll see a section here that says Backup Now. If we tap on that, it'll begin backing up our iPhone. During this backup process, do not disconnect your iPhone from the charger, and also don't turn your iPhone off. Again, the backup time will vary depending on how much stuff you have on your iPhone. Once the backup is complete, you should see a last backup time, and you're done with backing up your iPhone. Now let's move on to updating your iPhone. Once again, before you start the update, you wanna make sure your iPhone's plugged up to the charger. So just plug in the lightning port connector to the iPhone and the USB side to either your computer or to the power outlet and then to the wall. 
Depending on how your notifications are set up, you may see a red one beside the settings application, or you may be prompted on screen to update your device. Regardless, if at any time you want to check on an update, all you have to do is tap on the settings application and you'll notice that general has a one. This means that something needs updating or needs attention. If we tap on general, you'll see that the software update has a one beside it as well. This pretty much means there's an update. If we tap on that, it'll take us to a page like this. Now this update is 9.2.1. You may see other updates and you may see more frequent updates over time. And you can read through the basic information here and traditionally Apple provides you a link if you'd like to get more information on various parts of the update. Once you've gone through that, tap install now. You'll need to enter in your password if you have one set up. Go through the terms and conditions and then tap agree at the bottom. Tap agree once again and it'll begin verifying the update. Now during the update, you'll notice your iPhone turns on and off. I've sped things up here so you can see the whole process, but basically just leave the iPhone alone and let it update. Don't turn it off and it should work fine. Once the update has completed, you should see the slide to unlock screen. Go ahead and unlock it, put in your password, and we'll just check to make sure it has updated. So we'll open our settings application. We'll tap on general. And then we're gonna go ahead and tap on software update and it should check for the updates and it'll tell you that your software is up to date. Now you can do this at any time to see if your software is up to date and if it is, you don't have to do anything. If an update does come up, you can choose to update it now or wait a little while and update it later. So that's how you back up and update your iOS device. If you run into any trouble or have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box. Also, if you guys want more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel to be notified when I post it. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for updates and to keep in touch. And I'll see you guys in the next one.